Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Your pipeline has been failing uh, and you need to create a monthly report. Um, how will you get the uh, last two month execution of uh, pipelines? Um, so this is a very actually uh, good question and it uh, helps you to understand uh, different parts of the Azure Data Factory and some other services as well. Uh, so if we are in the Azure Data Factory here uh, and uh, you can see right there, there are pipelines and uh, then you can go to monitor here and you're gonna see some executions. Uh, so these logs uh, does not provide you, I believe, more than 20, uh, sorry, 15 days. And uh, if uh, I'm mistaken, I don't know, maximum maybe 21 days. Uh. So these logs, what you are going to see here for your pipeline, uh, they will not be for two months uh, or, uh, you know, you want to like even go for more than two months. Uh. So what you have to do, I always encourage you having some custom uh, login. In this case, uh, let's say if I'm uh, for each of my pipeline, I will build some extra uh, store procedures and then uh, I will use them uh, to run before the other activities and then uh, finish uh, with the uh, that uh, store procedure as well. So at the starting of that, maybe I will use a script uh, activity here and log the information in uh, some Azure table uh, and say starting uh, pipeline, you know. And this will uh, start to uh, add an entry in one of the table on my Azure SQL database. And then uh, once all the activities are done, uh, I will use another uh, script uh, here that will, uh, I will mark that as a uh, pipeline successful. So uh, what will happen, uh, so I will have the information uh, uh, for starting time for that pipeline and then ending time of that pipeline. So I can run all those reports. Uh, in case of errors also I can uh, put uh, this uh, script there and then uh, connect these activities. Uh, so let's say I want to connect this one and then a mark on this activity let's say on failure. So on failure I would like to add that entry in some error table. So I can simply go here and uh, then call a store procedure in SQL, Azure SQL and say error information log. So you understand what I'm doing here. I'm uh, building these components uh, uh, that runs before any activity runs that have a table where we log the information then run the activity. If it uh, fails, we add an entry in uh, your SQL table and if it succeeds, we just update the status uh, and uh, that's how we will keep the record of all execution of every pipeline. One thing you need to understand from here, you, you have to use these uh, uh, activities, you know, in every pipeline. That's one way of uh, uh, finding out. Uh, but I honestly will go with that scenario because uh, uh, if I don't have the 15 days data, I want to see like, uh, you know, which pipeline has been running for a long time, uh, how many hours it ran, you know, and uh, I can also gather some more information, records read from activities and all that and records written and all that. And I can put in the uh, some uh, log table and that will help me. Also, one other way what we can do, we use a uh, uh, log analytics. Uh, so we have to enable the Azure log analytics. Uh, and uh, then uh, once we enable uh, log analytics workspace, uh, we will configure our ADF to write to the Azure log analytics. Um, then we'll use a uh, Kusto queries uh, uh, that uh, can get us a list of those pipelines. Uh, by default, uh, I believe the, the uh, log analytics uh, stays for 90 days. Uh, and if you want to have more retention, uh, then you can go for 730 max. Uh, so you will have pretty much data for a whole year sitting there. You can go and uh, query that and see which uh, uh, pipeline has been running with the status failure or success or what type of errors you've been getting, which activity took long time to run and all that. Uh, because the Azure Data Factory uh, monitoring page does not support all that. Like here you write a query and uh, get all those results. So you don't really get that. You have filters and all that. So it's more graphical where you have to, you know, go through each of them and take a look. Uh, so I will suggest uh, implementing uh, either uh, custom login in each of the pipeline. As I said that uh, you can write the data via your SQL or maybe any other relation data management system and use those tables for your reports and uh, taking a look. Uh, or you can use the Azure Log Analytics uh, and save the information there and use Kusto Query. So I have uh, the video how to set up all that. Uh, I will put the link in the description as well as uh, I will uh, add that as a card here so you can take a look. Um, so that's uh, pretty much it uh, for this. Uh, with the having a custom logging or with the Azure Log Analytics, uh, you will be able to achieve this type of uh, requirement. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.